Australia, the land that time forgot. Mystical, ancient, and in some cases, extremely remote. One of those remote places is Lightning Ridge, where the famous black opal is found. Sit back for the next few minutes and be fascinated by one of Australia's most unusual townships and its people. Lightning Ridge is situated on the edge of the outback in northwestern New South Wales, 700 kilometres from both Sydney and Brisbane, and is the biggest opal mining town in the region. The town has grown considerably over the years and now has all the comforts of a typical Australian country town. However, many of the residents here are certainly not the typical Aussie type. The people of this area are unique. They work hard, play fast, relax completely. They know how to have a good time. Most of all, they enjoy unity in a remarkable diversity. We are one, but we are many. We are Australian, so the song goes. This is a place where people still dare to dream where anyone who works hard has a chance of striking it rich. It is a place where everything is possible and where things still move at their own pace. They live in an ancient and arid landscape, woven through with rivers and wetlands. Aboriginal people lived on this land long before the arrival of European settlers and are integral to the communities today. The first settlers to till these fertile plains have also left their mark. Their legacy is part of the local heritage and generations of their families still reside in the district. More recently, the dream of Opal has drawn people here from all walks of life and all corners of the globe. Today, the communities are archetypically Australian, yet uniquely cosmopolitan. The town of Lightning Ridge has been described as a microcosm of Australia and the pioneering spirit still persists here as in few other places. An ethos of adventure, hard work, courage, humour, inventiveness and hope. A sense of community, tolerance of the unusual, a love of fun and an eagerness to embrace the new and the different. Lightning Ridge is famous as the world's main commercial producer of black opal. The elusive nature of opal deposits has kept opal mining an enterprise for individual operators, usually working in partnerships. Opal can be found at varying depths below the surface, down to around 25 metres. It occurs in seams or in knobbies, a form of opal found only in Lightning Ridge. The equipment used for mining opals ranges from jackhammers and electric hoists to blowers and diggers, bobcats and large earth-moving equipment. Miners are restricted only by their budgets. Most start out with the basics, then upgrade when they strike opal. Many design and build their own equipment. The automatic hoist, now an icon on the opal fields, was invented by a Lightning Ridge miner to bring his dirt to the surface. These days, many miners use a blower for this purpose. The blower uses suction to remove opal dirt from the mine face, depositing it into the truck waiting above. Once it has been brought to the surface, opal dirt is processed by washing in a large agitator, usually a modified cement mixer. The opal dirt is washed down until only tailings remain. The tailings are then sorted, with the miner's finely attuned eye spotting colour amongst the non-precious opal, which is called potch. There is also open cut mining. However, this method is an expensive way of extracting opal and is only rarely employed in black opal country. The beauty of opal mining is that no matter what your circumstances, all you need to get started is a claim, a candle and a pick. Precious opal is like no other gemstone because it changes colour and pattern as the observer turns the stone. Opal is actually a rare form of silica. Viewed at a microscopic level, it appears as an array of spheres. In gem opal, these spheres are of a consistent size and sit in a regular array. The size of the spheres determines the colour of the opal. When the spheres are not arranged regularly, there is no gem colour, resulting in the non-precious opal known as potch. 
gem opal is defined as such by the brilliance of colours in the colour bar and is classified according to colour of its background potch, which can be black, considered highest quality, grey or white. The value of opal is determined by the type and brilliance of colour and pattern and the stone's weight in carats. Most people don't realise that opals are one of the rarest gems in the world. Opal expert from Australian opal cutters, Graham Blakelock, explains. Well, to find opal, especially black opal, the miner must move tons and tons of dirt to find one piece of precious opal. They're extremely unique, very, very rare compared to other gemstones. You can estimate that they're about 50 times rarer than diamonds. Uh, they are one of the very unique and rare gemstones in the world. The value of an opal cannot be fully realised until it has been cut. An opal cutter will rub the surface of a rough opal to reveal where the colour bar is, before deciding which way the stone should be cut to maximise its potential. With each pass over the cutting wheel, the cutter reassesses factors such as the location and direction of the colour band or the presence of sand inclusions, constantly refining decisions as to the final form of the stone in a process of feedback between eye and hand. Also buried in the opal fields are remains of an ancient world, fossilised remnants of dinosaurs, turtles, fish, birds, crocodiles, mammals, crayfish and plants which lived thousands of years ago. Lightning Ridge was once wet and cool, evergreen forests blanketed the floodplains and waterways fed into saltwater estuaries to a shallow inland sea that covered most of what is now Central Australia. The land, skies and waters teemed with strange forms of life. When you come to visit Lightning Ridge you're coming to one of the oldest regions on planet Earth. Maybe you'll stay for a day, or for a week, or maybe you'll stay forever. Most people in the ridge, that if they really got down to the nitty gritty, they're not quitters in this town. And of course the famous Lightning Ridge have the best opals in the world. 40 years in the opal industry, still love opal. Opal is the only gemstone in the world. But you can guarantee, once you've been to the ridge, you'll be back to the ridge. <laughs>